You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, 2017, Cycle Day 3. I'm Shana Dozier. And I'm Sakala Richardson. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Disney, Disney Channel. Channel. Just kidding. This is High Street Morning News. Let's Even better. <laughs> let's kick it off with our Black History segment with Jordan Jones. Good morning, Northeastern. Today in history, February 2nd, William Artis was born in Washington, North Carolina in 1914. Artis was best known as an artist and sculptor who learned under Augusta Savage who was a famous artist and sculptor during the Harlem Renaissance. Artis received the John Hope Prize in 1933, leading him to a scholarship from the Art Students League in 1934. William went on to get his master's from Syracuse University in Fine Arts and began teaching ceramics at Nebraska Teacher College and Fine Arts at Mankato State College. William taught for about 20 years before he died in 1977. You can find William's work in North Carolina's Museum of Art and countless universities across the state, including Hampton and Atlanta colleges. To learn more great facts about black history, visit aaregistry.org. More facts will be coming tomorrow, but for right now, we have some of our own info to tell you guys. Remember to register for Applied Music next year if you have an interest in learning music and performing for public audiences throughout the year. If you have any questions about it, you can see Mr. Howe in the Music Wing. Sergeant Caldwell from the U.S. Marines will be in the College and Career Center, room 403, tomorrow at 1.30. If interested, you can stop by and sign up. Hey seniors, don't forget that Otter Water Dog will be in the library again today, so if you're feeling a little stressed, go Good see morning, that cute little puppy face and today get your mind history, off things. February Coloring 2nd, books are also William Artis was reliever, born in Washington, so when you go to North lunch, Carolina in 1914. $1 from the National Art Honor Society. Attention all students, except those seniors who are presenting today. Remember, you guys have to leave again right after school today at 1245. Seniors who are staying for their projects will report to the library until presentation time, so don't wander the building. Ms. Newcomb will also be taking questions regarding presentations and grades on Monday, January 6th. Remem make sure to arrive at your pre project location ahead of time to make sure you're ready to go. For any seniors who are presenting today, listen up. We have Colin down with Miss Newcomb to give some final presentation tips. Hey, Colin. Hey, I am down here with Miss Newcomb, and she's going to give us some final suggestions on senior project presentations. So, what are the must haves for a good presentation? Well, must haves are you should have done the project, be proud of what you did practice a little bit so you're calm going in there. I realize everybody's going to be a little bit nervous and that's okay. Just don't get overly nervous. Enjoy it. Be proud of what you did and show us you're proud of what you did. So what are some strategies or aspects that students can use in their presentation that make it more appealing? Um, show what you did. We're interested in what you did. We, we want to know what you did, what you saw, and we want to know what went well and what didn't go well. Because in every project, no matter how well it goes, there's something when you look back, you go, oh, I'd do that differently. And just let us know how it's helping you with your future, or did it help you with your future? Right, and you've done this for a while now. So are there any extra tips that you've given students in the past that have helped them succeed? Um, the, just the tips I always do is be prepared, uh, check your room out for your technology, be there early, don't be waiting till the last second because then you might forget something and get, get all nervous and just ha have a good time with it. We're excited to see what you do. All right. Well, you heard it there from the expert, Miss Newcomb. Good luck to the remaining seniors taking it, the presentation today. Relax. You'll do fine. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Colin, and hopefully that was helpful to you, seniors. Now let's take it to sports. Good morning, Northeastern. Tonight here at home at 6 o'clock, there will be a swim meet against West York. It's also senior night, so arrive a little early to see the seniors. 
Now here's the lunch for today. Today's lunch will be spaghetti with meatballs and Texas toast. Sandwich of the day is pub burger with the fixins or tuna or chicken salad. And there is barbecue and buffalo chicken pizza in the pizza line. For tomorrow's breakfast, we're having mini pancakes or fruit smoothie. And tomorrow's lunch will be boneless wings with the dinner roll. Sandwich of the day is tuna melt or buffalo chicken wrap with a variety of pizza in the pizza line. That's it for me, so let's take it to the weather. Okay, so currently it's 34 degrees outside, but it feels like it's 32. Now let's take it to the five day. So today will be about 42 degrees, and it's going to be kind of cold over the weekend, and it'll start to heat up back up a little bit on Monday. And there's a chance of snow on Sunday, so we'll be right back after this. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. More will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm here with Damon Faulkner and James Toomey, and they're here to talk about a competition they are finalists in. So can you explain this contest to us? So the contest is the suicide prevention competition in Pennsylvania, and the like theme this year was anybody can be the one to prevent suicide if you speak up and help your friend out. What did each of you do to compete in this contest? Like, what did you enter in? So I made a poster, and you? I did an, uh, a little promo, radio promo, about 30 seconds long. OK, so Damon, this will, I think we have a picture of your, there's your poster that you submitted. Yep, and this is my friend Gabby. And we made it a Saturday morning at our friend's house. And it was just, I had this idea. It just came to me, and we made it happen. What was the process to making your submission for the poster? Well, we took the pictures the one day. We had to take them a few times because we messed up the first ones. So we took them on an orange background for some reason. <laughs> and then I designed it, I laid it out, and the pictures posed the problem because I took them wrong. So then I cut them down and made them the way it looks here. And then we added the logo up top, and I put the slogan I made up down there. And then we had to change it up to make it what they wanted the hashtag be right. the one, because I just had the words there. And then we made the sizing right, and it was all good. Cool. So there was a lot of editing involved yeah. and some hard work. James, what about you? What did you do? Um, I uh, did, for my uh, audio, I had to write up the script. And when I was thinking about it, I was like, what do I think of when I think of suicide? You know, it's depression mm -hmm. is usually what leads to it. And what I really thought of is how deceiving depression really is, because you think you're so alone and secluded and there's no one who cares, but really there's so many loved ones al around you who care about you and right. just want everything. So you wanted to make it impactful and everything, yeah. it really means something. All right, we're going to roll the his submission now, so listen up. Alone. A single word that describes more than just a single feeling. Seclusion. Unwantedness. Darkness. But the most prevalent thing about the word alone is the deception behind it. You are not alone, no matter what you are going through. There are people who love and care about you all around you. So, if you, or anyone you know, is fighting through depression, and or has thoughts of suicide, call 1-800-273-TALK. You are not alone. End the deception. 
Okay, I know we're short on time, but everybody should go to this link and you have to vote through your mobile devices because all the PCs in our school are viewed as like one computer. So go to this link, you can find it on our website and vote for these two students who worked really hard to make the submission. Congratulations to you both. Have a great day and stay classy, Northeastern.